Hi, I'm Jolie. And I'm Melissa. And this is the BCI Beat. So you mentioned in episode one that traveling to Ethiopia is actually stepping back in time. How does that work? Life in Ethiopia is a lot more primitive than it is here. They're more focused on day-to-day -day existence and just surviving. So subsistence living, basically only eat, living off of what you can find or what you can grow. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, more literally, uh, traveling to Ethiopia is a form of time travel because it's only 2012 in Ethiopia right now. How does that work? Stay tuned to find out. You were telling me about Ebenezer Johannes. He's been in your program for about three years, correct? Yeah, Ebenezer is now eight years old mm -hmm. and his mother has been chronically ill since he's been in our program. Mm -hmm. And recently she developed some new symptoms so she went into the doctor and after some testing, they told her that she had uterine cancer. Oh, wow, cancer, that really is a worldwide health concern. That's such a dangerous diagnosis, even in America, I can't imagine what it would be like in a third world country. How do they cope with something like that? Well, they've really been leaning on the ministry more. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult situation to be in. His mom recently started treatment for her uterine cancer and she tried to continue to take care of Ebenezer the best that she could, but um, she was just really struggling, so his uncle stepped in to help out and has been looking after him. Well, we all could use some family help from time to time, right? And we're just praying for health and healing for Ebenezer's mom. Ethiopia's anti-aging secret. Right, the reason why Ethiopia is still in 2012 and we're in 2020, mm -hmm. well, that's actually because in Ethiopia, they record Jesus' birth for a different time. So the time frame from when we go from B.C. to A.D. is actually eight years difference. And so our calendar starts at a different point in time than they do. Speaking of calendars, we follow, and most of the world follows, the Gregorian calendar, mm -hmm. which is 12 months long. Uh, Ethiopia is one of the few countries that follows the Coptic calendar, which is based on the ancient Egyptian calendar, and it's actually 13 months long. So Ethiopia's slogan is 13 months of sunshine, and instead of having four seasons, Ethiopia has three, inundation, growth, and harvest. So English speakers, they bounce back and forth between the Gregorian calendar and Coptic calendar pretty decently, right? Ethiopians who speak good English uh, and do business with Americans mm -hmm. would bounce pretty well between the Gregorian and the Coptic calendar. So it seems to me like in order to be able to really rock out this Ethiopian anti-aging secret, you have to move there because you're just going to age on the returning flight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The U.S. is often thought of as a melting pot, mm -hmm. but what a lot of people don't know is that Ethiopia is also a melting pot with lots of different cultures and diversity. And in 2006, we actually began Nations, Nationalities, and People's Day. Based on our constitution that guarantees every Ethiopian their own rights and equality. And we actually celebrate that at BCI Academy. Yes, this year the children dressed up in traditional Ethiopian clothing that was from their tribe and they played music and they had plays and they really enjoyed and embraced the chance to strengthen bonds and promote diversity amongst themselves and amongst the different tribes. This day really seems like it gives you an opportunity to take pride in your culture. And the fun thing about it is that every year a festival takes place and it travels to the different states within Ethiopia. And this year, the festival took place in Oromia, which is where BCI Academy is located. The children really enjoyed celebrating the diversity and they embraced it wholeheartedly with the overarching goal being one political and economic community. 
Now this story is very, very precious and near and dear to my heart. This story is about a six-year-old boy named Murga. He was born in a city nearby called Dyer. His mom couldn't take care of him or provide anything for him, so she left him on the street and abandoned him. A Frosse, had, who had no children of her own, picked him up and took him home and has been taking care of him ever since. In Ethiopia, there isn't help for new mothers like there is here in the United States. In the United States, we have lots of programs and churches who are willing to help mothers with diapers and wipes and food and formula, as well as a lot of government programs. But in Ethiopia, there aren't those options. So when a woman has a child and she can't take care of them, Sometimes she feels her only option is to abandon the child uh, so that she can survive or in hopes that somebody will find the child and the child will survive. So uh, Murgo was really blessed to have Afrase find him and be so happy and willing to take him in. Now Afrase is 60 years old which in first world countries isn't considered... Just over the hill. Yeah, right. But uh, in Ethiopia and in most third world countries, 60 years old is considered really elderly. On top of being elderly, Afrase also is chronically ill with kidney and uterus issues, which makes it difficult and nearly impossible to do any kind of work. But she does make $9 a month watching her neighbor's cows... Unfortunately, her rent is $16 a month. But she washes clothes to try to make the difference. It's just not enough. But Murga just adores his mom. And, you know, uh, Afrase says Murga is her reason for living. So how can we help? Well, any little bit helps. If you'd like to donate, you can go to our website, www.blessingthechildren.org, or you can give us a call at 888-269-2719. Most young Ethiopians haven't ever been in a car, let alone a plane. But Tayent is a 21-year-old university student who has had the opportunity of a lifetime. Tayent lives with his mom and his sister, and he's been in the BCI program for several years now. Uh, Tayent is now going to university with the help of his sponsors through our extended support program. And Tayent has a real gift for music, and he is studying music at a local college. And he got the awesome opportunity of going on a all expenses paid study abroad to Madagascar for 10 days. That really is the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, and it's all thanks to the BCI Academy Education, Ministry Support, and sponsors like you. What do we have to look forward to next time? Well, I'm not sure when you get up, but for me, I get up around 7 a.m. This is not so for Ethiopians. Their wake up time is 12 o'clock. Well, I can get used to a different calendar, but getting up at 12? There is a logic to it. I'll tell you about it on the next episode of the BCI Beat. All right, well, visit our website, check out our social medias below that we're going to link, like and subscribe, leave comments and questions. Have a blessed day.